Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to another Express Loco running session. So, as you can probably tell by now by the title and the thumbnail and things, today's running session is going to be all about 040 locomotives. Now, as you probably know, these express running sessions are designed towards beginners and children and that sort of thing. Anybody that's not a beginner or a child is more than welcome, but uh, obviously you might find certain bits a little bit boring if you already know some of this stuff. However, as you know, I like to make these videos a little bit educational, so why not do the educational bit first? So, what is an 040? And in fact, you hear these wheel configurations configurations are tossed around all the time. You hear numbers such as 080 or 260 or 262 and it's not always obvious what it means. Now once you've had it explained to you it is very very simple but the trouble is because because it is so simple I guess people don't tend to explain what it is and uh, for the most part we just toss these numbers around without explanation and as I say it's simple there's nothing to it really but obviously you've got to have it explained before you know what it means. So as you can see here is an 040. Now what makes this an 040? So what you do is you start at the front and to, f to start with you count the number of non-driving wheels at the front and obviously on this one there are zero so the first number is zero. Then we look at the driving wheels normally in the middle and as you can see we can see two wheels there but of course there are four because there's another two on the other side so that is a four and then we go to the back we look at the back and count the number of non-driving wheels at the back obviously this loco has none so that is zero. So overall we have zero four zero or o four o. Okay, here's another one then just for practice. Now, if we start at the front again, you can see unlike the 040, this loco does have a couple of non-driven wheels at the front. So there's two of those. So we start, the first number is two. Then we move on to the driving wheels. As you can see, there is three visible here where there was just two before on the 040. So that makes six because there's three on the other side, of course. And then at the back, you can see there are no wheels there that aren't driven. So this is a 260. So it's quite simple, as you can see. All right, here's one more then. I'm not gonna go through this one. If you want to pause it and think Think about what this one might be if you don't know already uh, do so and let me know down in the comments for now though let's get on to some 040s and i'm going to show you the first ever one i got so, as I say, I wanted to start with this one because, believe it or not, this was the first locomotive I ever got. I got it for Christmas uh, quite a few years ago now. Now, if you look up close, you can see that some of the paintwork has started to come off on there. And you might think, well, that's probably because it's quite old. But really, it's not all that old. It's less than 10 years old, in fact. However, as most of us do, when we first get our first locos, we don't necessarily handle them all that carefully. And as you can see, because of that, some of the paint came off. So, yeah, you have got to be careful with these things, even though they are built for children. Anyway, so this is a locomotive from the Caledonian Railway, and that's what the C and the R stands for on the side of the tank there. And the Caledonian Railway is up in Scotland. And you can see this engine has got two passenger coaches where the passengers would go inside. And it also has some goods wagons at the back as well as a brake van. So let me know in the poll, what would we call this train? There's a special name for it. For now, though, let's get this lovely Caledonian 040 started, shall we? Right, I'll try and do a, a nice slow start if I can. There we go. All right, very nice. Let me show you what else is going to be running then. So, this one here might surprise you because actually not all 040s are steam. As you can see, well, you might not be able to tell, but this one is actually a diesel. It's known as a Sentinel, and it was designed for shunting and that sort of thing. Now, the company that made these in real life, the Sentinel Wagon Works, did make some steam locomotives, so you can look those up if you want to. But no, this one was one of the diesels. And as you can see, this one has got a goods train. There's all sorts of different box vans there, and you might be able to recognize some of those brands. So this one's a really good runner. It's a Hornby Sentinel, if you want to look that one up let's get it started look at that it does a really good slow speed all right and speed it up so yes you can get some 040s that are diesel and not steam so talking of the devil, here is another Sentinel locomotive. Now this one also looks a little bit like a diesel. In fact, it's not clear what it is at all. But if I show you a slightly different angle from above, you can see that there is actually coal inside the bunker there, which means that this is a steam locomotive. It's a little tank engine, if you like. And so yeah, very, very unusual. This was uh, also made by the Sentinel company, as I say, and uh, this is in the war department livery. And you can see the name Molly is on the side there. And she's also got a tiny little goods train with uh, an open wagon there and some low loaders. So let's get this one started and uh, see how this one runs. So compared to some of the others, you can see that Molly is very, very slow. And I think they were in real life. They were designed for shunting. 
and shunting locos never really had to go very fast because shunting is quite a slow and careful process. So even though she's going slow, that is realistic, so it's not a bad thing. Now as you can see, the blue 040 from the Caledonian Railway runs much faster and it's actually set to the same speed on the controller, but they're designed to just be for fun, so they do go a little bit faster because obviously it is fun to see trains run good and fast. And the Sentinel diesel runs at quite a medium speed, not too fast, not too slow, but in real life I think those were quite slow too. So there you go. Those were the first three engines, and as you can tell, even though they've all got the same wheels, they're all 040s, they're all very, very different, aren't they? So there we go, I hope you liked seeing those. I'm now going to take these off and put these away, and I will get three more 040s that you've not seen yet today, and we'll get those running. Okay folks, well I hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk to you in just a second when I've got some more 040s ready to run. Alright then folks, I am back with some more 040s. Now, looking at this next one, you might recognise the livery because of course we've already seen a Caledonian Railway loco today. But whereas that original one, that first one, was quite a cheap sort of toy really, designed for train sets, this one is a much more serious model produced by Hattons. And this is known as the Andrew Barclay 040. And these were designed for shunting, so as you can see there's quite a nice selection of wagons behind the Andrew Barclay, as well as a nice brake van at the back. So let's get this one started then and see how it runs. And the answer is that it runs really, really nicely. Oops, it's going the wrong way though. Let's change direction, there we are. As you can see, it can do a great crawl. Yep, really good run of that one. Okay, what's next? All right, so next up we have a loco known as the Dapple B4, and I really like this one just because of that livery it's in. Now, as you can see on the side of the water tank there, it's got a name, which is uh, pronounced Kane, I believe, and this came from the Southampton docks, and at Southampton they always named their engines, or they often did, it was a bit of a tradition. Now, at Southampton docks, the job of these engines would be to take goods and load them on and off the ships, which would arrive and uh, then depart, I suppose, from Southampton docks. Although today, as you can see, there is a a passenger train behind this one in fact she's got some Pullman coaches and if you've seen some of these express videos before you'll know that uh, Pullman coaches are more or less the most posh way you can travel on a railway so I think they quite suit her because of course the Pullman coaches have got quite a lot of brown on them as well so let's get this started shall we and uh, see how this one runs all right let's try a nice gentle start if possible there we are so as you can see, another very good run of that one, and she does look nice with Pullman coaches, even though it's not really all that realistic. So last but not least then we have this, this is known as the Hornby Peckett, and it's one of the best 040 models that money can buy really. So as you can see this is in a lovely lovely leaf green. Generally these were designed to be industrial locomotives which meant that they would work in different industries such as quarries and docks and uh, factories and things where they would haul goods. Generally speaking they wouldn't be hauling passenger trains, although in preservation some of them certainly do. But as you can see this one has got a bit of a milk train, all sorts of different milk wagons behind this one. So let's get this started then the packet here we go so there you are then there is your introduction to 040s really really lovely aren't they all of them look lovely generally speaking they're quite small so overall they're not all that powerful which makes them handy for small jobs small shunting jobs and that sort of thing where they wouldn't need too much power but really, if there was a big passenger train or a really, really long freight train that needed hauling, there were much larger locomotives to do that. Uh, so you wouldn't normally see 040s doing that sort of thing. But for shunting and uh, small jobs, they were absolutely fine. And don't forget to let me know which one you like the most, of course. I think for me, it's between the Andrew Barclay and the Peckett. I think the Andrew Barclay looks the best, but I think the Peckett runs the best. So, yeah, it's difficult to decide. So there you are, hopefully now you know a little bit more about 040s, and I really do like them, so I've enjoyed having a running session with them today. So I think that's basically all I've got to say today, folks. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Do let me know in the comments if you liked this, and if you've got any more ideas, I suppose, for beginners' videos, 
do let me have those down below and I will certainly think about doing them. But for now, folks, thank you once again for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. All right. Cheers, everybody.